Hello everybody, Tom here. Welcome back to the gear room. And I thought I would share with you my emergency fire kit. Uh, this goes in my backpack and uh, just kind of stays there uh, until I need it. I think fire, or having the ability to create fire is a, uh, is a very good tool. Uh, you just never know when you might have to get warm all of a sudden. Uh, anyway, this is it. Uh, the entire contents weighs in at uh, 2.15 ounces or 61 grams. This is a Cuban fiber stuff sack from Mount Laurel Designs. I'll go ahead and dig right into this and I'll show you what I got in here. everything in a plastic bag. Have a mini Bic lighter, a rubber band. And it works. Next up, a little bit of crazy glue, and uh, this is a, a great uh, fire starter too, and um, you can actually use this to clean some wounds, or uh, not clean them, but uh, to seal up your a, a cut on your, on your finger, or what you might need it for. This is a, a fire steel, a mini ferrocium rod that I haven't used yet it comes with like a, a hacksaw type blade if you've seen any of my other videos I use ferrocium rods quite a bit and this would be an addition to um, another one that I usually carry on my person uh, but if uh, for some reason I were to lose that one uh, I'd have this as a backup and um, I can usually get fire started uh, with these uh, pretty good because uh, I, I practice with them all the time next up I have a, uh, a button compass and uh, this is a pretty good one and uh, this is a backup to another compass that I actually uh, carry on my person when I'm out having fun. These are some uh, stormproof matches that I got from REI. This is the strike board that uh, you strike them on and they, they work very well. I also have them sealed in another plastic bag. I guess I had two of those in there for some reason. But anyway, I also have a, a candle in here that looks like it's been smushed pretty good. The wax is covering the uh, the wick, and uh, these these are nice. You know, if you got got your lighter and you and you can get them going, uh, you can start a fire with with these as well. Uh, this isn't, again, this isn't my go-to stuff, but uh, I had it, so I just put it in there for the heck of it. And lastly, a little bit of wet fire. And uh, wet fire really doesn't need any more explaining. There's lots of videos on wet fire, and, and uh, things seem to work pretty good. This is the fire steel that I use, or that I keep on my body and that I've, I've used several times. And um, I can usually get a fire going with this uh, pretty easily. Um, but these things won't help you if you don't go out and practice with them. And I, I, I practice in the rain just because it's harder. And I know if I can get it done in the rain or snow or whatever, then uh, uh, I won't need the rest of the stuff. But, uh, you know, you never know. So it's nice to have backup 
uh, supply so I can I know that I've got surefire with me all the time and the weights not all that bad I could probably do without the candle but um, uh, it's just one of those things that uh, it's kind of nice to have okay everybody so there you have it there's my redundant fire making kit so I know that I will always have the tools to make a fire if I need to and of course with all this you need a little bit of knowledge about tinder and wood and in my area um, I know pretty much everything that will burn real fast and uh, where to find dry wood even if it's raining so uh, all this stuff won't do you any good if you don't get out there and practice with it and I do that all the time just because uh, I don't have anything better to do so anyway thanks for joining me for this video hope you guys uh, liked it and till the next one you guys take care out there we'll see you on down the trail